Hi guys, it's Miss Goodhart here. I miss all of you. I want to read you a book today. It's called Imogene's Antlers by David Small. It was one of my favorite books when I was a kid. And since I'm not in my classroom, I have to read the books that I have here at my house. On Thursday, when Imogene woke up, she found she had grown antlers. Getting dressed was difficult, and going through a door now took some thinking. Imogene started down for breakfast, but got hung up. Oh, Imogene's mother fainted away. The doctor poked and prodded and scratched his chin. He couldn't find anything wrong. The school principal glared at Imogene, but had no advice to offer. He doesn't look very happy that she's not at school though. Her brother Norman consulted the encyclopedia and then announced that Imogene had turned into a rare form of miniature elk. Imogene's mother fainted again and was carried upstairs to bed. Imogene went into the kitchen. Lucy, the kitchen maid, had her sit by the oven to dry some towels. Lovely antlers, said Lucy. The cook, Miss Perkins, gave Imogene a donut. Then decked her out with several more and sent her into the garden to feed the birds. You'll be lots of fun to decorate come Christmas, said Mrs. Perkins. Later, Imogene wandered upstairs. She found the whole family in mother's bedroom. Donuts, anyone, she asked. Her mother said, Imogene, we've decided there is only one thing to do. We must hide your antlers under a hat. Norman telephoned the milliner, which is a hat maker. At three o'clock, the milliner arrived. Rapidly, he sketched a few designs, then set to work. Bravo, bravis bravissimo, voila, cried his assistants. Thud, Imogene's mother had to be carried away once more. After dinner, Imogene practiced her piano lesson. Then, yawning, she folded her music, kissed the family, and went to bed. Imogene sighed, remembering the long, eventful day. On Friday, when Imogene woke up, the antlers had disappeared. When she came down to breakfast, the family was overjoyed to see her back to normal. until she came into the room. Hope you guys enjoyed that book. I really miss you all, and I'll be reading more stories online soon. Bye.